I think I want another one. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome to Chalk Talk episode five. And today we have a very special guest. Can't wait for you guys to see it. Let's get it. What's up guys? Welcome to Chalk Talk episode five. And today I have a very special guest. Nobody other than my fiance, Chanel Iman. Welcome Chanel Iman. Hey babe. Welcome, you look very beautiful. <laughs> uh, fresh, fresh off from having a baby, you look very beautiful. You can even tell, you. stomach all flat. You look very beautiful, very sexy. I'm glad to have you on the show, babe. Thanks, babe. Glad to have you on the show. So today we're going to get into some, to some very fun topics. Uh, you know, fans want to know about supermodel, fashion, fashion king. You know, so now we, we really have a fashion queen on set. So I'm glad to have you on set. We're glad to get into some fun topics. So the first question I want to ask you, what made you get into fashion? So fashion really kept me out of trouble in L.A. And my aunt took me to several different agencies. And at the time... Um, I moved to New York, um, I met my best friend, and my career just took off. Yeah. So being in New York at 15 years old, a uh, big city like New York, you know, from a small town in Louisiana, mm -hmm. but, you know, never been nowhere like that on my own at a, such a young age. So yeah. explain to people, how did you handle that being mature at 15 years old, moving to New York City? Well, I was blessed to meet my best friend Heidi, and um, yeah. she's few years older than me and we won't say her age on here but um, Shout out to Heidi. <laughs> she me and her just kind of um, took care of each other and um, supported each other and yeah. that really just like helped me out with my career and um, just making sure that I had the support that I needed that's great that's great because I feel like at such a young age like that you need big-time support especially when mm -hmm. you move into a big city like New York I mean when, when I when I think of you moving to New York at 15 years old I think about the movie Home Alone, <laughs> uh, when Kevin got lost in New York, when he took the trip without his parents, took the wrong flight. Mm -hmm. And I think of you moving to New York, but, you know, I'm glad she was able to find somebody like Heidi to take care of you and, you know, mentor you while you're in a big city like New York. Yeah. Want to jump into some other fun, fun questions. So what was your favorite house modeling for? You know, there's a lot of houses that, you know, people like, just to name a few, like Prada, mm -hmm. Uh, Chanel, you know, Givenchy, uh, you know, Gucci, mm -hmm. you know, you model for a lot of houses being a supermodel. So what was your favorite house like, like, you know, modeling for? I have so many, many, and this really takes me back in time. Um, one of my favorite houses I loved working with uh, would be YSL. Okay. Shout um, out to YSL. <laughs> I love walking with um, for Yves Saint Laurent because I always got to take my shoes home. And then I also loved Gucci because it was one of the hardest shows to walk for in my time. And I booked that. <laughs> um, I loved Christian Dior as well because um, everything was like the, a theatrical production. Um, and then I would say D Squared was really fun. I really made friends with the designers. Yeah. You told me about that one. You told me about yes. that one. Yes, and I loved them so much because they would always invite me to um, to go out with them after the fashion show. So I would literally wear the same pieces I wore on the runway out in public at parties. So That's that nice. was always so much fun working with them. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. Give a hand clap for that. Shout out to that. Shout out to that. That's very special. Yeah. So explain to people, like, I'm your fiance, so I know what it's like seeing you get dressed, you know, of course, you know, beautiful, you know, you're going to start off with your makeup, you know, but explain to people, uh, you know, other than starting off with makeup, you know, I think all women are going to start off with makeup, but how do you get dressed going to a big event? Like, you got a big event to go to, you know, how do you start off get dressed? Like, how do your day go by getting dressed going to a big event? Well, it's really nice to be able to have custom pieces designed for me. Um, when I'm working with designers, they usually send me exactly the look that I'm wearing and then from there I have a glam team and they do they do a great job of making me look perfect for the carpet um, then I accessorize and um, put my best pair of heels that go with the dress on and yeah then I start my night <laughs> so I'm getting it I'm getting from it you start off with your heels 
I start off with my glam. Okay. I feel like glam makeup. is. Makeup. Okay. <laughs> I know so you don't like makeup. much makeup. Yeah. You don't like makeup. Uh, but... I tell all the time, man, you don't need makeup. You look so beautiful. But she always like, babe, I want to put on a little makeup. Little makeup. I'm like, babe, you don't need it. You look beautiful. But, you know, uh, she always want to start off with me. I think a lot of women just want to feel comfortable with makeup. But I tell her all the time, babe, you look beautiful. When you wake up in the morning, you don't need makeup. And, you know, she still exists to put on makeup. But she always know I'm always team no makeup. Always. Yeah, well, there's Chanel, which yeah. Devon is in love yeah. with, and then there's Chanel Iman. And yeah. then Chanel Iman is the <laughs> woman that goes out in town and yeah. has on her best, you yeah. know, custom look yeah. with her makeup and her glam and, um, you know, <laughs> yeah, 100%. shuts down the city. Yeah, 100%. So tell the fans, what's the, because when I first met you and, you know, I told, you know, we went public and people know I was talking to you, you know, it wasn't like, you know, oh, like, man, you dating a supermodel, not a model, but you date a supermodel. So I was like lost, like, what's the difference between a model and a supermodel? So explain to people what's the difference between a model and a supermodel. Because if you don't know, I found out from, you know, my fiance, it's two different types, you know, a model and a supermodel. And we're not shooting anybody down, but it's two different types. It's a model and it's a supermodel. So explain <laughs> to people the difference between the two. Okay, so um, there's Instagram models. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's Instagram models, uh, Devon, now you know the difference from a, an Instagram model, an influencer, um, and then you have a model, and then you have a supermodel. And I think um, supermodels, I feel they as, are established through uh, working with high-end designers, mm -hmm. um, and then um, that, well, in my experience, I feel like fashion really put me on the map um, working with these top designers and then working with brands like uh, Victoria's Secret uh, gave me a voice to yep. have. So I think those two things combined made me who I am today. Yep. Yeah. Victoria's Secret. Okay, we're going to dive in a little bit to Victoria's Secret because I know a lot of women, when you talk about, uh, you know, brands, a lot of, a lot of women will, like lingerie brands, they will love to be a pick i think it's like some special like an angel to be picked for victoria's secret a lot of women would love to be in those shoes so explain to me explain to the fans what's the difference between high-end brands and what's the difference between lingerie brands like victoria's secret oh okay so working with high-end brands um it for me in my career was very challenging because i spent a lot of time away from my family and mm -hmm. Spent a lot of time in Europe, um, in Paris and Milan and London. Milan, your um, favorite city. <laughs> you love Milan. I love Italy. <laughs> I do. But working in Milan, it was tough. Yeah. Um, but um, I think it's just, it, it fashion, it's totally different than um, working with lingerie companies just because it's more high-end and then Victoria's Secret's a little bit more commercialized. Mm -hmm. um, if that makes any sense. Yeah, you. you're, you're on the right track. Go ahead. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, again, like, high working as a high fashion model really put me on the map in the fashion world, and then working with Victoria's Secret gave me a voice. Okay. So those two things combined made me Chanel. Yeah. Mind. When you talk about Victoria's <laughs> Secret, of course, the first person comes to you is somebody like Giselle. Uh, Chanel Iman was like one of the, you was one of the, the black girls at the time working with Victoria's Secret in in your era. So shout out to you for that. But you know, uh, <laughs> as a woman, I feel like everybody, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, she can speak on this more. But as a woman, you know, everybody wants to, you know, like kind of Drake said in the song, you're not a model unless you've been involved. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, she can she can explain to you about that. What you know, what 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 being in Vogue mean? Using Teen Vogue, yeah. using Adult Vogue. So explain to the I fans. Like Explain to the fans what it means for you to be in something like Vogue. Well, it's a huge honor. Um, Teen Vogue, I, I was chosen to be on the cover of Teen Vogue a few times in my early te teens. Um, and then once I got a little, well, actually, when I was younger as well, Anna Wintour put me on the cover of American Vogue with nine other girls. Shout out to and, Anna Wintour. <laughs> and, uh, Explain to the people who is that. Anna Wintour. Uh, this, explain to them like they, they don't want to know because they can, they can okay. always see the lady. Okay, listen. They can always see the lady with the glasses, the dark glasses with the bob cut hair, pretty bob haircut. They don't even know who she educate. is. I gotta know. educate. I gotta educate. Explain to the fans right who now. it is when she's at fashion shows. Okay. Explain to her. So Anna Wintour is is um, 
She is the queen, and she can make or break you when it comes to fashion. As a model, as a designer, if you want to establish a name for yourself, she's the one that can make things work for you. And she really was very supportive early on in my career. Um, when I was 15, I was walking on a runway, and I winked at her. Um, and. She called me into the office and then she started booking me to be in American Vogue and you know it was just really exciting moment of my career to uh, just get a phone call from Anna Wintour's office and work with photographers like Steven Mizell. Um, and uh, yeah, like at that time it was I was it was not it was very difficult as a African American model to make it in the fashion industry. Now, you know, industry has changed a lot and um, there's a lot more diversity than ever. Um, but it was just, it's just a huge honor. And uh, yeah, that is just something that I'm very proud of and um, I'm, I'm very grateful to have a part of my career. Respect, respect, you didn't clap for that. That's big, respect. What about kids? Kiss? Okay. Kiss for that. that. Kiss for that. So, what are, you know, I know like a lot of people see fashion, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of highs, but explain to people some of the lows of being a uh, American, African American uh, female in, in fashion, especially back in your day when there wasn't really a lot of African American women. Mm. Explain to the people some of the, some of the things that they, they don't see. I tell you, I had a lot of nights where I just cried myself to sleep because I couldn't understand why, you know, I wasn't uh, accepted or I wasn't booked for certain shows or photo shoots. And, you know, it wasn't, I, under, I knew why, but I just couldn't, I couldn't accept the fact that, you know, like, I don't know, like I was, I was different, you know, like mm -hmm. why, why was I given the same opportunity as the other girls? I you know, and that really frustrated me. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, with the support of my family and my best friend, I got through mm -hmm. literally anything um, that really broke me. But yeah. guess what? That always makes Major you stronger. Look at you know. Look at you <laughs> and, uh, you, you know, I'm grateful for all of those that did believe in me. I think as a model, um, other in um, um, girls that are trying to be models, they ask me all the time like to give them some tips. And I think one of the things that I could say is that having a, a great agent and a great agency that really pushes you is like key to success as a, 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 a model. Shout out to Lisa Benson, IMG. Lisa Benson, IMG, <laughs> you already know who I'm talking about. <laughs> So that's, that's that's always great, you know, feedback for you know uh, the African Americans, other just women in general, you know, uh, want to be the next supermodel, the next model, whatever that that may be. It's always great tips that you can you know give those uh, give those women, you know, who's who's coming up in today's world. So off the fashion subject, we're gonna talk about you know. I know a lot of things that people don't know, but tell people the fans something they don't know about Chanel Iman, like. A, a, a secret or something they don't know that you can do, you know, other than, you know, being a fabulous supermodel? Well, I really enjoy making babies with you. <laughs> and I think I want another one. <laughs> oh, cut, cut, cut. I'm just playing. Yeah, man, that's crazy. You're giving the people a secret, a big secret already. <laughs> that's not a, a big <laughs> secret already. Okay, so we want to plan for a boy. So, yes, we want to, we, we, we will try one more time to have a little boy. So, there it is. Chanel Mine told you that we're going to try for one more baby. And she enjoyed having babies with Big Daddy. So, that's good. <laughs> there great. we go. That was a great one. That's probably the best one I had on the show so far. <laughs> so, let's get to topic of the day. We're going to talk about the topic of the day. Relationships. I know everybody probably like, oh, relationships. <laughs> relationships. Is it is it hard to maintain a long distance relationship, or when you meet somebody, is it doomed from the start when it's a long term relationship? Explain, explain to me, explain to the fans. Is it is it is it hard to maintain a long term relationship, a long distance relationship? I mean, 
hard when you meet somebody and they tell you, you know, you know, they long distance. Is it over from the start? Is it doomed from the start? I believe when you're in love with somebody, you will travel as far as you have to to get to them. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> we are living proof of that. Yep. We're not <laughs> far away. I'm, I mean, I'm in Boston we're, for we're the season. We're not that far, but, but when we met each other. We met each other in Miami. We met, yes. You know, through mutual mutual friends, we met each other in, in Miami. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Chanel never tell nobody, but Chanel asked for my number. You know, <laughs> yes, yeah, she's going to say, yeah, how did this pretty girl ask for your number? She know asked for my number. We was out, you know, at a lounge, chilling, bobbing. And, you know, like I knew of Chanel, but I didn't know her, of course. But I knew of her, of course, you know. So, uh, you know, I you know, I took my I took my chances, pulled up um, at the spot that, you know, they was I was invited over there. And, uh, you know, Miss Chanel was just talking. You know, we was, you know, having some drinks, talking, flirting. <laughs> And she was just like, well, you know, I've been in Miami, you know, all, you know, most of the time. So let me just get your number, yada, yada, yada. You know, so I gave my number and then, you know, I asked her, you know, we went to another spot after that. And, you know, I told her, I was like, you know, let's go, like, let me take you out on a date. You know, because she was leaving town the next, the next night. And I was like, let me take you out on a date. And uh, <laughs> we went to the one hotel, uh, got some lobster, you know, like went set by the, went set by the pool downstairs after we ate uh, lunch and, you know. It was it was all over, you know. She missed her, her flight on purpose, oh, so we can go on a second date that night. <laughs> so she don't tell nobody that she missed her flight on purpose. She's missed her flight. I was ready to take her to the airport. <laughs> she missed her flight on purpose just be just so she could spend more time with me. And uh, after that, man, it was it was it was really every you know I, I, I showed her my actions. You know she you know she kind of wanted to you know take it slow. You know, but I was like, man, look. From day one, I met her. You my girlfriend. She told me, you know, she was single, and I was like, you off the market. You my girl. That's it. It's over. So, and I think we we really, you know, I told her, I asked her, my my thing I asked her was, uh, do you believe in love at first sight? That's and you true. know, and I was like, I believe in love at first sight, and you know, like this is love at first sight when I met you, and uh, you know, it was over after that. So, you know, yeah. shout out to you for that. You know, shout out to you for giving me a chance to show you the man that I am. Let my action speak, and you know, it was over. Yeah, well, mm. well, I loved your energy, yeah. so I just was like, I was loving yeah. what he was giving yeah. me, and he was flirting with me nonstop, yeah. and I just, I just knew, you know, when you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so. Don't second to all my people out there, like, don't like second guess love. If you feel like it's the it's the, it's the right moment, like, go with your heart. You know, don't care what. Outsiders got to say because everybody's always going to have an opinion. People had an opinion. People judged, talked about Jesus Christ. And, you know, he's, you know, he created all, all of us, you know. So, you know, don't, never second guess when it's, when, when it's time for true love and you feel like, you know, it's, your, it's a chance to take your shot. Because if you don't take that shot, then you, may, you might never have another, another opportunity to take another shot. So I'm glad I took my shot and it worked out for me. We got a baby girl. Mm -hmm. As you as you heard, <laughs> Chanel wants to try for a boy one more, so you know. But uh, on to something else. Okay. Uh, you know, she do believe in long distance relationship. You know, because she said if it works, it works. Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't doomed from the start when we first met because we was you know long distance from each other. But she believed in that it'll work. She had faith in it. I had faith in it. So the fans want to know two questions. <laughs> The first question is, do you believe in hall passes? Hall passes. Okay, so wow. So hall passes <laughs> is, do you believe in giving uh. your guy a hall pass to go on a date or to, to, to be intimate to another woman? Do I believe in giving her a hall pass to go on a date with another man or be intimate with another man? And they ain't got to be having sex, just flirting or something like that. So do you believe in that? Do you believe in a hall pass? Hell to the no. Okay, so why should I believe Hell in a hall pass? Hell to the no. <laughs> I do not. Even no. So we got. I'm glad we got that. So fans, you hear? We got that question out of the way. We don't believe in hall passes, so don't even try it. Just we the got two that, of us. just the two of us. We don't believe in that, so get that out the way. We don't believe in that, so don't even ask. The next question I have for you. The next question I want to ask you. The fans want to know: What should a guy do when approaching a woman? What should a guy don't do when approaching a woman? Like, what's the do's and what's the don'ts when approaching a woman? Okay, well, if they're coming at me the way you came at me, that's yeah. what you do. I can't, I, can't, I can't give you all my, my secret, though. So, yeah. so the confidence. Devon had so much confidence when he approached me. That's a do. A don't is 
I would say making a move on the first time you meet a girl, which you did. But I was confident then. You, you I was did, confident, but so. it just kind of yeah. caught me off. But you know what? It worked because <laughs> the next day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were on a date. Yep. We were on a date. Uh, we were on a date. We had think about I, I, I tried. I gave you a kiss. You know, he was like, "Boy, why you just meet me?" <laughs> You know, so uh, that I mean, was some a, some women yeah. like that, yeah. but you know, and I guess I kind of liked it mm -hmm. because uh, look at us now. Yep. yep. <laughs> so that was great. You know, that's the that's you kind of get Chanel inside of the do's and the don'ts of what to do when you first approaching a woman. So that was my last question I had for you, babe. Uh, you know, you, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. As always, you know, look like you never had a baby. You know, <laughs> you look beautiful, body body getting snatched back back to where it used to be. Wait, so wait I wanna, for the summer, babe. We're in Miami. <laughs> absolutely. Miami is our home, so we love Miami. So I want to thank you for coming on the show today. You know, it's, a, it's an honor. It's a pleasure having you on the show. You know, getting uh, to, to my fans, your fans, too, to see the inside of, you know, the day in the life of both of us. You know, get some insights, you know, ask you some questions of you being a supermodel. <laughs> I just want to thank you for coming on to the show. Anything you want to say to the fans before we go? I love you. Thanks for having me on the show. Love you, too. <laughs> See ya. Big shout out to my fiance, Finelli Mine. I want to thank you for coming on the show today. It's always special chopping it up and talking to you. Thank you, my love. So grateful and so appreciative to have you in my life. Thank you. Now it's time for me to show you my Chalk Talk episode five game day fit. Let's get it. Now that you've seen my drip, let me show you my top five best dressed athletes for week six. Let's go. Thank you guys for tuning in to episode five of Chow Talk. It was great having my fiance on set, Chanel Mine. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for always watching. Look forward to seeing you for Chow Talk episode six. Peace. <laughs>